Hello y'all! Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the effects of outliers on our correlation coefficient or what we've been denoting with R. Now, outliers, remember, are those values that stray far away from the bulk of the pattern. In two quantitative analysis, we had three ways that something could be considered an outlier. It is extreme in X, extreme in Y, or it strays from the overall pattern. So the extreme in X and the extreme in Y stray, and it can be because you've got a certain range represented and that value is outside of that range. Uh, so what's bad about that? Like what's bad about an outlier or something being different? Let's talk about it. So imagine that you have some sheep and your goal is to get those sheep from one spot in the field to the other, or maybe back to the barn. Now your goal is to keep them in a line, right? Now sheep follow one another or follow the leader without fail. I've heard of sheep that will just go off the side of a cliff because somebody did in front of them and then the next and the next, crazy. So if you have a pattern of sheep and all of a sudden you see one sheep that's going over in that side of the field, what's going to happen with your sheep? It's going to loosen up, right? You got one bounding, bounding in the other direction, maybe like this. It's bounding away from the rest of the pack. What does that do to R? Well, let's say that we started and we have our sheep nice in line and it's got an R of negative 0.7. Now remember that negative just means the association um, has, as X increases, Y decreases. It doesn't make it weaker. When we go to the next graph where that sheep it bounded away, those sheep was following a path, one bounded away. Here, what happened to the strength of that relationship? Well, it got a lot weaker. So remember, negative doesn't mean it's weak, it's just the direction. Here, because we've got one sheep and it's trying to now have that whole group account for that one sheep, it makes it really a lot weaker, right? It's starting to loosen that relationship. Essentially, that bounding sheep is making kind of chaos, right? Because all these points are now trying to figure out the next, what's the best location? Where's the best place to go? Now, it can make it weaker, but outliers can also make a relationship stronger, oddly enough. So here, say we still have our sheep. We've got the one on the left, and it's got an R of negative 0.846. Again, negative just means that's the direction of the relationship. But then on the one on the right, you see that we add a value that falls completely in line or almost exactly in line with the line of best fit that was shown on the left. When that happens and it aligns so closely, even though it's an outlier, it's going to strengthen it because its residual is basically nothing. So that R is stronger on the right than the left because we have added a point that is basically emphasizing the relationship or pattern or line that we have created on the left. So it straightens it out. They're standing in line better. Isn't that silly? I had to show a line, a nice line. They're waiting nicely in line. So what have we learned? What have we learned? Anything? Yes. Yes, we have learned things. So in a scatter plot, there's three ways you can have outliers. Extreme in X, extreme in Y, strays from the overall pattern. Okay. When you have a correlation coefficient or you have an R, it's measuring the strength of the relationship. If you have a situation where your relationship is looking like it's fairly tight, it's starting to form a line, and then you have one value bound off from the rest of the group, that's going to weaken the R or the correlation coefficient because you're trying to account for that outlier. However, if you have a situation where you have a nice uh, line forming or a pattern forming, and then you have somebody add an almost completely align with the model that you've created, it's going to strengthen it because it's saying, hey, that one did a good job. Yes, it's making it stronger. So keep those things in mind. That is how outliers can significantly impact R, both by strengthening the uh, value of R and weakening the value of R. Isn't that fun? We had a fun time today. See you in future videos.